Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our special coverage of the 2024 presidential election night. I'm Mike Thompson. And I'm Sarah Johnson. It's an exciting night as we await the results of this historic election between Todd Wise of the Democrats with his running mate being nobody, because he forgot to find one and Emil Slobodnik of the Republicans, who has life as overrated 96 as his VP. Polls all around the country show a super tight race that could go either way. Our latest polls show that 49% of Americans support Todd, while 44% support Emil, with about 7% being undecided. That's crazy, Sarah. These two used to be in the same band called Slim Jim Park, releasing hit albums like Malt Liquor Theory and Meteor. Here's a snippet of one of their albums. I feel if you are late, but everyone in our stage Told you everything loud and clear, I'm nobody's listening, call theory Now, let's spice things up with a live panel discussion between Todd's mom and Emil's mom. Let's see what they have to say about their son's candidacies. I think that my son Todd, Andrew Weiss, should not be president. What if he starts a YouTube channel and I won't be able to delete it? Todd needs my guidance and being president would only. Emil would probably be the better president. He's super hot and he is more of a Jew, and Jewish people are the smartest. He will do great things for us Jews. I can't wait to give him an extra $20 for his campaign. Hopefully, he doesn't use it to buy crack wars again. Государство Израиль было обвинено в геноциде палестинцев в секторе Газа во время войны между Израилем и Хамасом. Различные ученые, а также специальный докладчик ООН Франческо Альбанези, 20, цитировали заявление высокопоставленных израильских чиновников. Wow, what an interesting interview. Now, let's hit the streets and hear from some random Americans about who they plan to vote for. Hello, ma'am. What is your name and who are you voting for this election? My name is the Ralph UDP, and I'm voting for Todd Andrew Weiss, because Emil that weirdo Asperger child should not be president. He destroyed half of Ohio and killed a bunch of children whilst drinking and driving. The fact so many are even considering voting for him makes me so mad. Todd is also stupid, but he's not evil like Emil. Can't wait for Emil to lose so I can give him more therapy on his streams. Hello, sir. What is your name and who are you voting for this election? Pyron is the name. Smile emoji smile emoji smile emoji smile emoji smile emoji Todd Weiserism equals baptism. Nerd emoji nerd emoji nerd emoji nerd emoji kissing emoji kissing emoji LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag Emil Slobodnism is the way skull emoji skull emoji skull emoji skull emoji skull emoji skull emoji the gays are taking over. LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag no safe heaven for any of us LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag LGBT flag Now that we've heard from some voters, let's delve into the candidates and their policies. Emil Slobodnik, a Russian immigrant with controversial views, has proposed some radical policies, like mandatory work until death and IQs on passports. Quite the character. Absolutely, Mike. And Todd Weiss, known for his eclectic tastes and peculiar policy proposals, wants to outlaw lying, revert the military back to spears, and even polish the pixels on money. Quite an unconventional approach. Let's not forget their agreement on banning geometry dash, Sarah. Now, let's take a look at some highlights from the recent debate between these two colorful characters. This guy talking over me, he has no discipline, he has no video editing skills, he's just bullshitting. But just like... Well, the thing of the matter, see, he's over halfway done and all he has to do is just swell and finish and kill. I'm and gonna do it. Okay, sorry. But I just am motivating him to do it because it's a malt liquor video. What the fuck are you waiting me? I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I don't need your fucking motivation. Did I ask you for a motivation? Let's no, I did. go, email, cheerleader. Let's go, email. Let's finish Dad, it. Let's can you shut go, up? Email. Let's finish it. <laughs> let's go. The rules. That's why they call you the rules. Rule the bottle. Put the rule on the bottle. And Look, and everyone can drink. Swill and kill. But life is not all about drinking. Don't tell me what. He's a doing. weakling. He he he's he's just trying to make excuses for people. Yes, I am. I don't give a fuck. He's a pussy. He can't. He, 
He honestly, he can't finish it because mentally, he's telling himself he can't do it. But just do it, like Nike. Just do it. Just. Todd, do you see this finger coming your way? See excuses. Everything that <laughs> he deep down sees below him. He wants to swell and kill, but he's just holding himself back. And I'm ashamed. I'm getting to the point where I feel kind of pity for him almost. Because I cannot drink. I felt pity for you because you don't have a girlfriend, didn't have any sex in five years. Well, show the camera and show everybody because this is 11 minutes now. And I got a six. See? Now, let's discuss their campaign strategies. Emil's rallies have been eventful, to say the least. Absolutely, Sarah. He seems to get angry at anyone who tries to help him or even offers a fist bump. Quite a temper. And Todd's campaign ads have been interesting, to say the least. Let's just say they've raised a few eyebrows. Now, let's talk scandals. Emil's past as a racist, self-hating Jew has caused quite a stir, while Todd's um, unique preferences have also come under scrutiny. That's right Mike, Todd has been particularly eager to attack Emil's past as shown by this election ad Todd put out. Emil Slobodnik would probably be a great president, but he has some flaws. For example, he can't drink a 40 ounce in under a minute, and he sometimes can be a little too assertive. Beat your ass, because I really don't give two shits about you, about your rules, about your opinions. Because I think it's my way, the way of God, and people who think differently, they're pieces of human excrement, and they deserve to be dead. You did so, you know? Todd Weiss, on the other hand, is witty, nice and sensible. Todd Weiss can cook. I chop some onions up, I put it in this mushroom soup, and I'm making onion rings. He can dance. He can beatbox. He knows history. Here at one time, different states were scattered because of dinosaur before the dinosaur period, Ice Age, the glade, <coughs> water, ocean, natural history. He loves black people. The black people are an amazing breed of people. Speaks clearly on issues that matter. One for one, all oh, fall for one. I'm handling my biz, my shizze. He is the president Americans need. Vote! For Todd Weiss. I'm Todd Weiss and I approve this message. Wow, that must have cut quite deep with Emil. How did Emil respond to this brutal ad by the Todd campaign? Well, Mike, Emil made a long video on this channel called If Todd, where he called Todd a bunch of names, then after 10 minutes forgot about what he was talking about and started talking about his ex and Jews like always. The Emil campaign ran the whole video as an ad across many of the swing states, annoying many TV watchers who had to watch a 1 hour 30 minute ad. I'm sure it did, it must have also tanked Emil's poll numbers significantly. You might think so Mike, but it actually didn't. The ad campaign seemed to have improved Emil's popularity among swing voters. Many could relate to having a stupid B word as an X. We got some breaking news now, we got the election results, and we are ready to show you it. So, here we go, Sarah. The moment we've all been waiting for. The final results are in, and it's a nail biter.
Well, folks, it seems Todd Weiss is the new president-elect. And Emil Slobodnik doesn't seem too pleased about it. Let's see what he has to say in his concession speech. I don't care. You know, I won't do what I want, and I want to fuck everybody else. If you don't think the way I think, if you're not going to give me what I want without asking me no questions, it means you're a piece of shit. It means you're a fucking piece of shit, and you deserve to die. It means it's your mother recorded and that is a faggot. Because you need to give me what I want without asking me no fucking questions. Because you need to think... And there you have it, folks. Emil Slobodnik not taking the loss gracefully. Indeed, Mike. But hold on a second. We got Todd Wise victory speech ready to watch. Let's see what he has to say. Hello everyone, I'm here to announce that I've changed my mind. I don't want to be president. I'm a loser and a loser shouldn't be president. I'm not smart, witty, nice or sensible. Anyways, I need to go sneeze some more. Well, folks, it looks like we have quite the unexpected turn of events. What will happen next is anyone's guess. Todd doesn't have a vice president, so it's very unclear who will be our next president. Indeed, Mike. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this bizarre and unpredictable election night.